Paul Bello here. Another update on Lit RPG Adventures, a collection of advanced AI powered RPG tools. Today we have the Describer. Um, as the name suggests, it describes things. Um, you can do historical, fantasy, modern, urban fantasy, or science fiction. You can do humorous, dramatic, jazzy, or even noir. Uh, you can do a person, place, or thing. Uh, you have all the tenses that you want, uh, first through third person. We have an unreliable narrator, reliable narrator, and limited omniscient uh, narrator. So with those uh, options selected, we can do magical cup of coffee, hit enter, and in a few seconds we will get a description, uh, and we're doing uh, first person present tense, I take a deep much needed breath and approach the counter of the corner cafe, it's a little hole in the wall joint but it's my local favorite, so there's the noir coming in I bet. So, say we check, change that to Jazzy, uh, you hit a button, and each of these will save uh, in, in an entry in your database. Um, I still have to add whether it's a public library or for commercial use, private, um, the prices will probably be different. But for now, I have it set up so that it keeps adding them, so if you want to do little tweaks or changes or stuff like that <clears throat> you can and then quickly easily see you know compare it with the one other ones you did uh, as I take a sip of the steaming cup I'm instantly enchanted by the complex <laughs> excuse me complex and mysterious flavors swirling around my tongue and so on and so forth so if we do satirical modern do past tense, third person with an unreliable narrator, and hit a button, and you can see just by changing these options we get a uh, vastly different description, so that's kind of what I'm going with with this tool. Um, to be able to describe anything, hence the name, the describer. So say we want to go to fantasy, dramatic, place, uh, we'll go battlefield after a big war. And you hit enter, and for a couple pennies and a couple seconds, you will get a description of the battlefield. looks pretty dramatic to me. So let's do a formal one instead and see what the difference is. Um, I'm on the final stages of finishing this up so another day or so maybe I'm hoping and it will be available on the site. So if you're interested in trying out the tool stop by Lit RPG Adventures and become a member today. We have uh, over three dozen uh, generators online already and over 40,000 generations in our library that you can use for non-commercial purposes. Uh, we also have commercial licenses that you can buy so if you want to use it for your game or novel or whatever you can do that too. Uh, Battlefield was a miserable sight. So it does seem a little more formal. Um, let's do some cyberpunk. Let's do science fiction, person, uh, present tense, first person, and rigor who is looking for work, and see what it comes up with. I'm a rigor, always on the hunt for work. I move wherever the job takes me, living on the edge. Um, so 
So let's do a fantasy. Uh, what should we do? Poetic. Do a person and present tense, third person with a reliable narrator. Do a female elf bard named Misty Storm Hollow, and we'll see what kind of description we get for that. Um, if you like the idea of this tool or have any ideas to make it better, leave a comment. Um, greatly appreciated. Uh, she is a graceful and mysterious female elf bard. So now if we change this to uh, say mystical path tense and first person and hit a button and in just a few seconds we get a first person past tense description of a female elf bard named Misty. Ta-da! Um, as I said, this is one of 33 different generators that we have online now with more coming soon. So um, if you like the idea of this or want to check out what else we have, stop by Lit RPG Adventures today. Uh, we'd love to have you. Uh, I'll have another video soon. Thanks for your time.